What's going on YouTube? It's your girl Splashy back again with another video and it's about that time It's heading towards the year 2022 2022 and like last year around this time guys, I released a video that's similar to this and it's a uh, My yearly shoe collection what I have grown added to my collection what I got rid of towards my shoe collection so Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. Happy, happy, oh, happy All right, guys. So um, it's the year 2021. Yeah, 2022 yeah, is about yeah. two weeks away. No, actually, it's about a week away. It's about a week away, and I decided, you know, before you know the year ends and everything rounds about, I want to show you guys my shoe collection. And since 2020, I added a whole lot of shoes to my collection, and I got a, I got rid of a few shoes as well. I don't what I have now, and what I had towards like the summer is like totally different. But you know, stop all the talking. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. What you guys are here after? So, guys. So guys, before I, you know, I go on a tangent and describing each one individually, I just want to give you like a, a little tour of my walk-in closet and what I got going on right now. So <clears throat> these are all my boxes. Some of the uh, shoes I have are out of the boxes. This is my shoe cleaner. This is from um, Rejuvenator, and this is pretty good. And I got the um, the $50 kit, so it comes with um, three brushes. But I was just brushing, uh, cleaning my shoes the other day, so it's in my living room. Then sometimes I put powder, put powder on it, and then these uh, this right here, if I want to make my shoes icy again, I use uh, uh, Salon Care Forty and put that in the sun for a bit of what I have. But I'm just giving you like a snippet of my closet. So compared to last year, I've got a lot going on. And then here is my my hat collection. I got a ton tons of hat. Then all my coats and jackets. But all right, guys, let's get down to the nitty and gritty. So here's the first shoe in my collection. I'm gonna show you guys. This is the um. Excuse me. This is the Air Jordan Four. Fire red. These originally came out in 1989. The original shoe is older than me. So I had an opportunity to pick these up last year in 2020, excuse me, for retail. But I was stupid enough that instead of picking these up, I picked these up for retail. The Air Jordan 1 Mint Metallic. I thought, oh, you know, these, these will still be in store. So I'm going to pick this up this week and next week with my paycheck. I'm going to get these. And then you know what happened? They end up selling out selling out at my local uh, sneaker store. And then I wasn't able to pick them up for retail. And like over like 10 months later after they released, I was able to pick them up for resale. And, I'm paying, and you know what's so funny? I should have, you know... These are Air Jordan 1 Miss uh, Metallic Gold. I should have picked these up for uh, resale. These go lower on the market compared to these. I, like in the long run, I could have saved myself some money if I just picked these up. Because I think these go like 30 to 20 bucks over retail. And these go like almost 100 to $200 above retail, depending on the size. So that was a horrible mistake on my behalf. So, there was two shoes so far in my collection. I think I have more in Jordan 4s and 1s, whether the Jordan 1 be mid or low or regular. But this is the Air Jordan 4 Desert Moss, another Nike Air on the back. These came out this year in 2021. I say in the summer. I'm not really sure the exact release date, but this is the second, second iteration of Union's making a Jordan 4. Compared to um, all four releases, I'd say um, the Air Jordan 4, uh, what's the, the black ones? The Air Jordan 4, uh, 
I forgot the the name the name of the the black uh Air Jordan Force that came out in 2019. Was it 20? Yeah, in 2020. That is my my top one, my girl right there. So that one and this one are my favorite Union Air Jordan Union fours. It ended up picking this at one. I'm super excited. And this was not for retail. And then I have another one. And this is the Air Jordan 4 UNC. Got a little speckle going on. So I'll say this is like oil UNC. This came out this year in 2020. This has the Jumpman on the back. Pretty cool. Super cute. You know what's going on? Uh, do I have another Air Jordan 4? I think, I, I think that's all my Air Jordan 4s. I might have another Air Jordan 4. It might be in my boxes somewhere, but I'm just going to do the shoes. Um, as a, I'm going to do the shoes that are out outside the boxes than the shoes inside the boxes. So these are the Air Jordan 13 Starfish. And I picked these up from uh, the Nike uh, Snicker Top. And I said, I wore these shoes since I had them. I forgot when they came out. These came out like March, I'll say. February. This came out February or March of this year. And I believe I wore these a total of three times. So these are right here. So these are the Air Force Ones, all red. I always wanted Air Force, Air Force Ones that were all red. Another Air Force One. This is a black and white ones. And I only picked these up because I could not pick up the um the Nike Dunks, um pandas, and I wasn't paying like four or five hundred dollars for a shoe that was worth hundred dollars, and like the price of make them was less than hundred dollars. So I was a fool if I would have done that. So these are just um black and white Air Forces because I couldn't get the Dunks because they were too expensive for resale. And every time it restock, I like the Nike sneakers. I would just fizzy up with me. There we go. And just so you know, guys, I have a lot of Air Forces, not just the white ones. And then these, I made a video about these um, last year's. Make sure you check that video out. So this is the um, the what the Air Jordan Fives. They come in different colors. Come in um. Yellow and red, mustard and ketchup. Then here are these. I picked these up around this time last year for retail on the Nike sneakers app. And I, I um went I went to Atlanta for um for a couple of days. I ended up going to the Nike store there, which is pretty nice. This that was a nicey oh, excuse me. That was the nicest uh nike store i ever went to and then i have these they're going um 11 cool grays picked it up um i say towards the um towards the end of spring gray um air jordan i have about three gray air jordans and this one's the air jordan one high top uh tokyo's this is the um, Air Jordan uh, Shadow 2.0, and as I told, I told you, I have very small feet, so we had the were gray school size, and the gray school size of the cool, not the cool, my bad, of the Shadow 2.0 does not come with gray laces, so I had to um, go to the store, search online to find some gray laces, but unfortunately. The ones I got doesn't really go with the shoe like the, the color does, but the um, the thickness, the style of it doesn't really go with it. So here is my shadow to pronounce. And by the time this video uploads, I would have given my boyfriend his <coughs> Christmas gift already. So I got my boyfriend um, the shadow to pronounce in his size Christmas. So we can like wear it as like matching, somewhat matching. QC outfit, you know, not too much match, you know, but like some like color wise or shoe wise. Or I also have the Nike Air on it. There's two different styles of these, but these are the Air Jordan 3s denims. 
Um, <clears throat> the another version of this has like, actually like Tokyo. It has like instead of Nike Air, there's a Nike Air, but like over the top of it, it says Tokyo on it. And then what's so funny about this? They actually made an Air Force One in this exact colorway. I seen that at the mall a couple months ago, and I thought I was like, oh, that's that's funky. All right, the next shoe I have this is a uh, Air Jordan One Low. Yep, I'm pretty sure I have these last year. I wore this to a trip in Florida. And this is the Arizona Ones. I think this is the Bordeaux colorway. No, this is Noble Red. This is the Arizona One Noble Red. I haven't worn these in a couple months. I don't think I wore, yeah, I think, yeah, I wore these, <clears throat> I think twice, two, three times this year when I was in Texas. And I ended up swapping out the laces with some all white ones. These come with, um, it's another shoe box, but they come with uh, this color, a noble red color. I thought like the, the noble red would get, was too much. So I swapped it out with this. I thought, so uh, this is another pair of Air Jordan 3s. Yeah, I think I have a lot of Air Jordan 1s. I have no 2s. I have a lot of uh, 3s. I have a lot of 4s. 1s, 3s, and 4s. That's what my mainly my collection consists of. But these are the um, Air Jordan 4s, like orange. I don't know what they're called exactly. But these are super cute. These go with everything. I have a, um, my Lakers uh, jersey, so this goes perfectly with it. For Air Jordans, I told you guys, I, I had another pair of Air Jordans. So I have these. I have the, um, the Air Jordan 4s, Love the Game. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. And these, before you know the craze for like Air Jordans, went, before the craze for um, Air Jordans was going on, uh, a lot of Air Jordans were going below retail, and I picked these up below retail. I think I picked these up for like 120 bucks. But yeah. And I had these babies. I had this for I think over a year, and I only wore these once. Wore ones. So these are some felines. These are super cute. Definitely want to wear these. Actually, yeah, I might wear this this weekend. It goes with a cute outfit. This upcoming weekend is going to be Christmas, guys. And I got a, like a red shirt that can go with this. You know, go with the holiday vibes. Red. So I'm gonna leave this out. Actually, I wore these ones, and I got these over two years years ago. By the time. A week from now, it's gonna be two years since I got these, so I definitely gotta wear these. These re this year in 2021. A lot of people are upset about this because there was a huge quality control on the men's sizes. The red right here was leaking into the outsoles and it was turning it pink. So people were like, the original color of it was supposed to be red and white, as you see right here, but the adult men's like red white and pink like that's not what they pay for so a lot of people return these to nike or they didn't even pick these up and then i have these these are Air Jordan one mids black and white you could basically wear these with anything i think these were uh the all-stars uh Air Jordans. i'm pretty sure i'm not 100 percent sure on that but it looks something like this and these right here these are my Air Jordan 1 Mint Reverse Brits. And these are my lace worn Air Jordans. I think I wore these once. They almost cleaned out, so it was almost clean, except for that chip right there. And I only wore these ones. I don't know. Like, it's just something with me with just like black and red, like straight up black and red shoes. It's just not my thing. I wouldn't like, even if these were the, um, the original red ones if i had on my i wouldn't pick these up if i had a chance to pick them up i would never pick up the air jordan ones reds because it's just something about like black and red shoes it's not it's not it for me but if i had a chance to pick up the chicago's yeah here's another release this is a woman exclusive this is the air jordan 14s i forgot what these are called exactly but there were a lot of Air Jordan 14s exclusively for a woman. There was a, there was like a red and white and black one like this. 
it was like a, it's called lipstick because they like it looked like a lipstick, but I forgot what these are called. But they're nice. I like them. It's pretty cute. Not everyone can pull them off, so a lot of people didn't want them. So these are uh, I have another one, another pair of fours. I sure do got a lot of pair of fours. I have so far. I have five pair of fours in my collection. These retro, the um, Air Jordan fours, Thunders. I'm pretty sure these are Thunders. But yeah, these I like them. It matches my uh, my team, my city colors. So I pick these up. These are the Air Jordan fours, Cherry Twelves. I don't know why, but my shoe looks so small. It looks like cutesy, whatever. But these are Air Jordan Cherry. I wore these once. These are, uh, pretty sure I showed these last year. These are Air Jordan 4 Citrus. These are a really cute colorway. Really summer vibes. <clears throat> these are Air Jordan 6 Citrus. Wow. Look at these babies. These are the Air Jordan, um, what is this? Are these 11s? Yes, these are Air Jordan 11s Reds. They're like, these have some weird names to them. They got to clean these. I only wore these once this year. Got a little yellowing going on, you know, right there. Wore these once this year. Let's go with the shoes that are not in the box right now. So these are my Yeezys uh, 350s. I forgot what these are called, but they came out this year. These are like, they change colors in the light. Yep. So like once it comes to the sunlight, this little, um, this look out. This line right here turns like a yellowish red color. And these are my first pair of Yeezy 350s, but my second pair of Yeezys I have in my collection all together. And then I have these right here. These are my Nike Dunks. I forget what these are called. But these are okay. Alright. I think I wore these once or twice. I think I wore these three times. But oh, these these came out this year. I have these right here. I forgot what these are called. Yo, these are the you know <sighs> excuse me, but these are the Nike Don't U N G L D. I think so. I just put it. I'll put it right here. That's what it's called. Okay. All right. The next one I have. When I first last year, I wore these a lot last year. These are my Nike shocks. I picked these up because, of course, it matches my city colorways. But I haven't worn these a lot this year. I think I wore these once this year. Jordan 1. These are Air Jordan 1s, the uh, tie dye. These came out in, uh, I think, either 2020 or 2019. I'm not really sure. One of those two. Then I have another pair of dunks. I have the Nike Dunks Undefeated. I think this is a pretty nice. Colorway. Got the snake skin snake coming on. Oh, excuse me. Like I don't know why. I didn't get these for um I did not get these for uh retail. I got these for resale and I think I paid like twenty to thirty bucks over retail when it weren't feeling this, but I like it. Get this like um Virgil Abelov style going on with this, the undefeated lo logo, and it comes with a, it's like a sail color, and then white, and then of course blue. Ooh. A boxy store. But these are the Air Jordan 6 Wheats. I have no idea when these first came out. But I know I got these way before there was any news about uh, Travis Scott uh, getting releasing his own pair of Air Jordan 6s. 
So before I before I knew that Travis Scott was releasing his um his version of this, I picked these up because I thought this would be like a cool version of um what's it called Timberlands, like a there's one a version of Timberlands. So I picked these up last year. The have the Air Jordan the uh, reds. I wore these more than I wore wore my Air Jordan One mix reds because I, I I favor um lows better. And I favor uh, fits. And I, I like about this, the tongue on this is real nice and thick. So real nice and comfortable. Very cushiony. I have the classic Nike Rebox, the gum bottle. I had this for a while. I liked this. You can't go wrong with all white shoe with a gum bottle. I had this for a while. Nice clean shoe. It's, it's super cute. I can wear this with a dress. Super cute. Pair of Converse's right here. Then I have a pair of white Converse's with I beat to the ground. I wore this to the gym. It's a little sparkly. Arvison, a pair of uh, Reeboks questions. I think I wore these, I think, two times. Pretty good. Here is my pair of uh, Yeezy Quantums. This is my first pair of uh, Yeezys I ever got. I wore these a lot, it's, as you can see from the bottom. I think these are the basketball version. Yes, this is a Yeezy quantum basketball, but I never play basketball in these. And uh, yeah, I say the majority of uh, Yeezy quantums go below retail because not a popular silhouette of the Yeezys. And this is my first pair of Yeezys that we got. Now what these what I have next is some all white Air Force Ones. Nothing wrong with these Air Force One Lows. I say these are one of the oldest shoes I have in my collection. These are the Air Troy N 13s Cherry Rigs. Cherries, I'm pretty sure these are the cherries. Then I have these. I have not worn these yet. I tried them on, but I have not worn these. These are Air Jordan up. Why am I saying Air Jordans? I have just too many in my collection. I'm getting confused. But these are the Nike Air Force Ones all white mids. Air Force One mids all white. This is another pair of uh, Air Forces. And these are made out of recycled material. And I really like the colorway. Real nice. Attention grabbing. Super cute colorway. And you know, the funny thing about this is just it didn't come with no tissue paper. It just came with like a box that's recyclable. No tissue paper, just voila, this. Then I have these. These are Nike Dunk highs. Um, I don't know what these are called, but the colorway consists of a, a pink color right here. In the toe box, a purple color right here, a yellow color right here, and then like a off like white color right here. And you know, now that I'm really thinking about it, like um, Nike Dunk highs really remind me of a uh, Air Forces mids. If you take off the um, the attachable thing on the Air Forces ones mids. Just like these. The fire reds. And like I bought these on the Nike app for retail, but I didn't know like the sizing is quite different. So I got my usual size. And these Air Maxes, which is a six and a half, but these run as long as ever. These fit more like a seven than a six and a half. So I should have got a six. So because of that, these are the um Air Force Ones, the 2020 uh, Halloween edition. So these glow up in the dark. The um, outsole. The midsole and outsole. So get the little skeleton going on. I picked these up for retail and I wore these a few times. I didn't wear those on Halloween, unfortunately. And then I have these. I wore these a ton. These are, let me show you these right. These are the Air Max Plus. 
and then uh, like a word is a ton, a ton in the summer. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this a one more year before I hit the head with these. I got these this year. This was a gift from my brother, actually. He wanted to twin them. So he bought himself a pair of those and bought me one. And then I got these. This is my last pair of uh, Air Forces. This is the Air Force um, Air Force Ones Med, the white color. I picked these up recently. This is my second pair of white shoes. And then I have the Air Max 200s uh, winterized. So these are some Air Max made for uh, wearing in the winter. So those are all my shoes that I have in this area that's in the box. And then I have a few shoes that are out, which I'm about to show you. So boom, right here. These are nice, sticky, very wearable color. These are my Garmax military boots. It's got a lot of wear and tear on this. As you, if you didn't know, I'm in the military. And then I have these, my other uh, military boots. What are these called? I don't remember what these are called. These got a lot of wear, wear in them. Then I have another pair of Reeboks. These uh, pink ones with the gum bottles, super cute. Have my Timberlands right here. Have these. I really love these. I like I like the like the Hawaiian feel on this. I got these uh before I went on my Hawaii trip, like the day before I went. I had these for like two years. I don't want to get rid of these. But they're about that time, but I want to get another pair of these because they're I wore these a lot. Here's my pair of Vans, bluish color. My neck ear rays right here. Had these for years. I think I had these since middle school. But they stand the test of time. Have these ear drawn 13s. I forgot what these are called. I put it down right here. I have uh, some um, Nike Air Forces highs. I got these uh, for a birthday gift a couple years ago. I say, like, my freshman year of high school, I got these. They are like, the, there's a hole in it. I haven't worn these in years, but. Just some memory, so I keep these. These are my uh, military formal dress shoes. And I have, a, I have another pair of uh, dress shoes. These are collecting dust because I haven't worn these in about a year or two. Have these another pair of phone posits. And then I have these. These are my last pair of shoes I will be showing you. And these are some um, Timberlands heels. I wore these a few times. I got these from my grandma. So these are a few years old. But they still hold the test of time. But all right, guys, so much for watching my YouTube channel, and I uh, hope you guys will continue to follow me. Don't forget to hit that like button and, just, and uh, subscribe to my channel. All right, peace.